Hey guys, welcome back to another video here with Sir Mala Performance. As you guys can see, per the title, will HP tuners work with Windows 11 software? I went on ahead and purchased this new laptop strictly just for my Sir Mala Performance videos here on YouTube and to obviously edit and also uh, tune. Before we continue, please hit the subscribe and the like button. I'd appreciate it greatly. I have the laptop here. I already turned it on a little bit ago. Let me go ahead and flick this open. Let me punch in my pen. Let's say you're brand new to this and you're like, hey, I want to buy a laptop. I want to buy an HP tuners. And obviously on the forums, all you read about is Windows 10, Windows 10. I haven't bumped into one yet saying, hey, Windows 11 works just fine. I have my, my laptop, the edition or Windows specifications. It's Windows 11 Home uh, version 21H2 or the HP tuners Pro. Uh, which comes with a lot more features, but this one's a little bit more on the simple, the more basic side. And uh, that's, it, it works. It works just fine. It's still the, the VCM editor and the scanner. The one with the wrench is your VCM editor. And then the one with the lightning bolt, which would pop up right now, the VCM scanner is the whole gauge stuff. So again, this is your scanner, the VCM scanner, the one with the lightning bolt. And then the one with the wrench is your VCM editor. I was able to download it onto Windows 11. Yes, uh, there was a little catch to it. There was a uh, Windows mode S. It'll prompt up and then you just, you hit a link underneath. I wish I would have recorded it because I think that's a very important step to getting um, this system downloaded into Windows 11. As a lot of videos here on YouTube, there's a ton of them on how to download HP tuners to your laptop. Those guys are just like click, download, open, done. Like it's quick and easy because those guys have Windows 10. With this Windows 11, it'll pop up, it'll download, and then it'll stop. And then minimize your windows. And then you'll see like a pop up where it's like S mode or something. And that's when like I was like, okay, like unactivate that. It takes you to the Play Store and it says download and buy this. I didn't buy nothing. I didn't buy anything from the Play Store. Nothing like that. It's already in the computer. It's just finding that link. And again, I, I'm, I'm truly sorry that I can't show you. Like I said, it's like a two hour process. So take your time. If something fails, uh, you can always reboot the computer. You can just wipe it clean and then do it again. You don't lose your credits because if you get to that point where you download the HP tuners and you're seeing this, you still have to go to the, the help and then resync interface. But if you're doing the resync interface to download all the credits, it's because you already have this. And if you already have this on Windows 11, you're done. So there's no way of you saying like, hey, I lost all my credits when I was downloading this to Windows 11. No way. You can't get to this with like, it's just step by step. So you have to get rid of that S mode or activate the S mode. And then the HP tuners downloads. And then that's when you get, you know, your, your scanner, you get your scanner in, you get this in. And then you have to verify um, you, like this, your suite information or the verification uh, key code or whatever, uh, the MPVI verification code. That's a, that's a process as well. Like I said, there's videos here on YouTube of guys doing it. You'll follow their same steps. It's literally almost identical. It's just us Windows 11 guys have to unactivate that S mode. So let me see if I could pull that up because saying it let's do s mode this thing right here so this is just this is actual microsoft website their support team you can email them all that fun stuff but it says windows 10 and s mode is designed for security and performances and uh yeah you just but this is for the windows 10 windows 11 and s mode is designed for secure performance again same thing on your PC, Windows 11 and S mode open settings, system activation. So like I said, the, the links, the links there, I'll try to, I'll try to tie it down. I'll try to copy and paste this on the video just so you can get yourself informed with this whole S mode. Like I said, I'm new to this. I'm used to Windows 10 with my other laptop. This Windows 11 is, um, is definitely, you know, ready to go with this uh, HP tuners. It seems like all I have to do is just plug in that, uh, that uh, MPVI right here, or my OBD2 doc, scan it and then read an ECU. So stay tuned. I have a bunch of uh, projects that I still have to do. Sorry for making it 
super long, but you have the computer hook up to the internet. This system only works with internet. If you're not hooked up to the internet, it's not going to work. It, they'd let you know. I mean, I'm just kind of regurgitating what they say and they at HP tuners has a support line. Windows has a support line. So use the help guys. There's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with saying like, Hey, I don't know what the hell I'm doing, but it's, that's what, that's what I'm like. Hey, will this work windows 11 uh, with HP tuners? And for the most part it is, I'm going to go ahead and try to dyno up project vengeance, uh, mortar swapped in. I'm going to go ahead and then continue with that. So I'm going to use this. And sorry to move you guys. I have you guys on the on the stand here. I'm gonna get myself set up here and I'm gonna start ripping apart this this Silverado engine. But thank you guys. Stay tuned with more of Star Model Performance. I hopefully you guys like the video. Again, Windows 11, HP tuner, uh, everything's good to go. I gotta get to work on this, guys. So until then, take care. God bless. Peace.